Gunner. All right, so we got Bowser versus Fox. Now, the last couple times we've seen this matchup, I feel like we've seen the upsets happen with the Bowser actually yeah. taking it. It was actually Chaos versus Ghost, where Chaos ended up upsetting Ghost after he switched from Ganon to Bowser, I believe. Was it we yeah, from Ganon? Yeah, it was Ganon. Uh, yeah, he's a true Ganon main, but decided Bowser was going to work out, and it definitely did. King Koopa up against Omega in this case, though. Just runs in there with oh the grab, dash attack, already getting 40%. That's a lot of stuff to work with already. Yeah. Oh my god, that down tilt. Beautiful catching the illusion to the ledge. Let him back on for free, though. Yeah, but he's maintaining that control really well. He's catching him on the rolls. Not going to be able to get anything on the platform. Went a little bit too aggressive there. Yeah, but this space back here, and that actually ends up getting him killed with the grab into up throw up air. Not even 30 yeah. seconds in a match, man. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty six, crazy. He didn't even like, like trade the entire time with him to get that much damage onto uh, King Koopa here. Still like nowhere near dying, especially as such a big body. All right, he's getting a dare to that, or uh, excuse me, jabs. But he's lasering at yeah, the opposite side of the stage. That's so much control that you cannot give up, especially against a character like Bowser. Yeah, it's clear to me at this point that. Uh, Omega may not have the experience he needs in this particular matchup. That's going to be a lot of damage. But, yeah, because he, he, he could freely like go in right now. He has the frame data to abuse on Bowser, especially if he can get him up above him. But he's staying really patient, especially at these low percents. And yeah, going to eat that. He just kind of jumped right into it. He just sat on it. <laughs> he just sat on it. That's what happened. Yeah. That was not looking good at all. And I think he picked the worst time to, after those up tilts, to just dash away. Yeah. And then do nothing. And then, and then try lazy. to go for a bear. Yeah. And, that, and that's what I mean. I think he it was just showed, like, okay, he got um, Koopa comboed the first stock. And I don't even think it was at the right percent to get Koopa combo. I may be wrong. It didn't seem to me like it like it was a true uh, follow up at yeah. that percent. So I, he he probably figured like I'm not trying to get that hit by that again and like so now what do I do? I just have to run away. But he he needs to recognize know himself when those percents that he will get grabbed into death are, and play around those percents. Whereas the rest of the time you can freely like attack or move in and out however you want. But that's not going to be the case here. He's actually just going to go to a different character, Captain Falcon. This may be worse, to be honest. I think it's a little bit. I think Bowser wins actually very slightly, just because Falcon has to be extremely committal on his approach, and Bowser can just outrange that with the paper grab so easily. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a very predictable space when Falcon's able to go in. As long as the Bowser's not throwing out buttons randomly, right. he should be fine. I'll throw it a fair. He knows he's not going to be able to kill yet, so he's just waiting for that next opportunity. But he might actually get him on this edge guard. But he's just going to go in there with the side feed. This yeah. man's going crazy. He's yeah. not respecting Omega at all. Yeah, already surmounting tremendous amount of damage. 120, and he jumps right into that up smash by King Koopa at the ledge. Once right. again, not even a minute into the match. First stock gone. All right, this is perfect. Falling up air knee percent. I want to see that happen. He can, if that, if he can, if he can land it, then it will be a comeback waiting to happen. But it looks like Omega's trying to play a little bit safe, and he's letting himself get grabbed for it. He was looking for that up air, definitely, potentially looking for the knee afterwards. But as you said, he's got to find it first. That's way too much stage, yeah. dude. You cannot give that up against Bowser. You have to keep him at the ledge as much as possible. That's where he struggles on the disadvantage stage. That's why he has such crazy stuff like the Koopa combo that you were seeing earlier. I want but Omega to recognize that, but look at all, the, all that space he's giving Koopa. Is yeah. he, he's really, it's clear he's just like afraid of the Bowser, and wow. He's gonna, he didn't even need the grab, man. Yeah. <laughs> he just jumped right up there. He knew exactly where Omega was trying to land or fall. Yeah. And, and I, think, I think that's something that you definitely see change when you go from like low to mid and mid to high. How well you can maintain that control yeah. and, how and how carefully you maintain that control as definitely. well. So Whoa. we didn't see that happen all too much. I do not know what's up with this camera. It's like, like, it's like super far away, like <laughs> ankle down. It's, like, it's to make us look thinner, actually. That's it's, what like, it is. it's like the heavens are like yeah. right there. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Jamax.